Lots of people who try to get into pen testing focus only on the technical abilities required. But I'll let you in on a little secret. So you've chosen to pursue a career in cybersecurity as a pen tester. And perhaps you're already in that field of cybersecurity and you just want to make a change. Hi guys, I'm Tamara from Get Cyber. And in this tutorial, we'll discuss what it means to be a pen tester, what skills you'll need, and how to get started. And you know, it's probably not what you think. So the National Institute of Standards and Technology defines pen testing as a method of testing where testers target individual binary components or the application as a whole to determine whether intra or intercomponent vulnerabilities can be exploited to compromise the application, its data, or its environment resources. Now, that seems like a lot at first, I'm sure. But don't worry, we're going to break it down later. It's really not all that frightening. Let's go over the most common criteria for a pen tester. So a pen tester is defined as someone who performs vulnerability assessments and penetration testing in accordance with the customer's prescribed scope statement. He or she is someone who provides black, gray, or white box penetration testing utilizing tools and techniques to conduct cybersecurity evaluations as well as it's someone who conducts security reviews and technical research and can provide reporting to increase the security defense mechanisms. Another key feature is the use of automated or manual exploitation techniques to compromise systems, online applications, and databases. So this may seem to be many cybersecurity careers in one, but a penetration tester must possess a broad range of skills in order to detect and exploit vulnerabilities. Let's talk about some of the common personality traits that pen testers have. You gotta have a keen sense of detail, as well as an incredibly good ability to break things. So if you were once one of those kids that loved to take toys apart and see how they worked, then you're definitely in the right direction. You see, it's not enough to run a vulnerability scanner and document the results. You must also understand the vulnerabilities, how they're exploited, and if you are able to exploit them, how the system's operators will need to patch them. That means you will need to provide recommendations on how to fix the problems. And as a pen tester, you are recruited to do more than simply detect and report on issues. You're gonna have to understand how to collaborate with the developers. And like other types of auditors, you'll be prompted to repeat the actions you did to determine whether the issues have been repaired. Now that you know what pen testing is, let's talk about how you can get started. Businesses want you to have a wide range of abilities in order to work as a pen tester. Broad knowledge and expertise with operating systems and online applications, databases, testing tools, processes, and reporting. So unless you work in a specialized subsector of pen testing, such as say mobile or web application pen testing, a broad understanding of cybersecurity is all that is actually required of you. Another factor is that employers are seeking for security professionals who can convey technical knowledge to non-technical individuals. So you'll get in by not just understanding the work, but also by demonstrating to recruiters how you fit the criteria. You're going to have to show how you'll execute the job and provide clear and concise results. Pen testers are not just hackers with consulting experience. It's the opposite. They are, in fact, consultants who hack. As I said before, you are chosen mostly for your abilities to convey technical knowledge to non-technical individuals. Soft skills are just as essential. Do you have problem-solving skills? How about giving a presentation? I'm not talking about giving a keynote speech in front of hundreds of people. I'm referring to you in a room with two or three stakeholders explaining why they should care. So I'm going on a tangent here, but human interaction or soft skills are just as critical, if not more so for pen testers than other types of cybersecurity roles. Understanding why the business can be affected is much more important than discussing how. Of course, you must describe how you arrived at your conclusions, but on its own, that's insufficient. 
Pen testers are consultants who hack, and your job is to execute the test, record the results, and then explain the risk and the business implications. So understanding what the company values, how they generate money, and how your discoveries threaten those values or income are critical. Nobody cares if you can do cross-site scripting on their website if it doesn't provide bad actor access to the crown jewels. Now, don't get me wrong. Cross-site scripting is bad, but let me explain the concept of crown jewels. Crown jewels are the company's most valuable resources, like a CRM or a production server. The value of these assets is determined by the nature of the company. It all has to do with why the company does what it does. So, for example, if the company's crown jewel is an e-commerce website, then cross-site scripting may be extremely important because they may lose their reputation if they were to get hacked. I hope you see where I'm going with this. This is why you have to understand the why part more than the how. Many people feel this way after completing an interpersonal skills test. I can write, they say, or you know, I can communicate technical topics to non-technical stakeholders. I've got this, you say, and you do. Yes, you really do. Believe it or not, the most difficult aspect of becoming a penetration tester is developing non-technical abilities, because technical abilities will evolve with time. But having a good foundation in writing and effective communication is key to long-term success in this industry. Now that we've got this out of the way, let's talk about the technical skills. There's a frequent misconception that you need to be a developer or programmer to become a penetration tester. Well, I'll let you in on another little secret. That's one of those fear techniques designed to keep folks away. Don't get me wrong. Again, it's definitely a plus if you can read and understand code. But it's not required. Now let's discuss networking. You've probably heard of networks. No, I'm not referring to social networks. I'm really referring to computer networks. Whether you're a mobile pen tester, a web application pen tester, or a network pen tester, it's critical to understand not just how information is transmitted, but also the protocols that are used, their role in data delivery, and the purpose. For example. Many people miss what happens when we visit a website, but it's critical that a pen tester knows what happens under the hood when you visit a website and how it relates to pen testing. Whatever method you choose to access the website, you should grasp concepts such as client-server interactions, the three-way handshake, the difference between TCP and UDP, and what Layer Seven protocols are and why you should care. People's eyes glaze over when we start tossing acronyms in.、Oh, But it's critical that you understand what occurs technically, so that you know what to look for in your testing engagement. Let's take a quick look at operating systems. Understanding operating systems is closely tied to understanding networks. As a penetration tester, your duty is to break into systems, and once there, you must know what you're searching for, where it is, and how to find it. So let's take a look at some of the questions you should be asking yourself. Where are the past Passwords or hashes located. Where do the web files reside? What level of access do you need to open the files? Or my favorite, how can you cover your tracks after you exploit a system? It's critical to understand what the operating system is and how it's built, so that you can mitigate vulnerabilities to which it may be vulnerable. So let's discuss vulnerability awareness. Vulnerabilities are the currency in which pen testers work. As security specialists, your job is to examine. Examine networks and systems in order to identify, exploit, and fix the vulnerabilities. So let's start with a definition. A vulnerability is a bug or weakness in a computer's system's security processes, internal controls, or design that may be exploited in order to violate the system security policy. So if you're a web application pen tester, you should be aware of unsafe coding techniques. As a mobile penetration tester. You must understand how mobile apps are built and how they may be reverse engineered, decompiled, and recompiled. 
Also, as a network pen tester, you should be familiar with the most frequent sorts of vulnerabilities that affect networks. You see, as pen testers, our objective is to find vulnerabilities before bad actors can. Remember when I said that pen testers are basically consultants who hack? All the vulnerabilities and technical talents in the world won't help you if you can't articulate how they affect the company. So if you can't establish a business case for financial information, reputation, or operation loss, management won't recognize the need to remedy the problems. Thanks so much, guys, for sticking around and make sure to subscribe for more content.